this program to ask you one simple question. Are you subscribed to my YouTube channel or what? Because according to YouTube analytics, 68.2% of you fools out there are not. So if you're enjoying this video at all, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, I'd be just jazzed. Uh, we could get 700 likes on this latest vlog. Leave a comment while you're at it. Thanks for watching. Back to the action. Writing tip time. So I'm editing the vlog here and I'm thinking, man, I like come across this clip first of all. That is, I mean, I gotta pat myself on the back. It's a beautiful bow tie. I'm thinking, man, we're having fun. We're staying entertained. But now let's add some value to the vlog. Let's do a little writing tip here. I'm gonna break down the bow tie for you guys. So there's a little pillow. It's kind of hidden by, uh, on this angle. I come into it pull back hard, you can see arms are extended right here. As I play through, um, notice how my foot comes all the way back behind me. What that's allowing me to do is open my hips up to where I want to go, right? Hips and shoulders are following. Really, the head leads it all. Bring that foot around, opening everything up to get that snowmobile to pivot around. And the reason that it is able to pivot around is because the nose is in the air. If the nose isn't in the air, the sledge is gonna try to drag through the snow and you're not gonna be able to do it. So you need that, that track to be on end uh, as much as possible and those skis to be in the air so it can pivot on the back instead of rotating the whole sled like this. It's more like this. Does that make sense? Right here, this is really the, the money spot. As I am way ahead of my snowmobile as far as like where I'm looking, hips are totally open, foot is out, head is looking um, where I'm trying to go. And since this is a, I'm kind of rotating right back into a flat like hole almost, you can see I'm spotting where I'm going to place the sled. And as I get to where I want to go, I quit pulling with that foot and I let my the sled fall back into my hips, allowing me to then get both feet back in action and ride 
back down. So riding tip, why not, right? This is gonna be the only shot from this trip on this camera, because I don't know how to shoot video, apparently. David showed up, thank God he did, save the day, of course. Um, now, I'm getting mad shade for not having a Sony. I brought Max to hopefully turn him into a snowmobiler, and at this point, I'm pretty sure he just thinks we're all morons. Yeah. And, uh, welcome to winter. You're on video, actually. I just blown out, man. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're here, We I made some new merch, some new shit for you guys to buy if you want some new shit. And uh, Gabe's modeling. He's stoked about it. Stoked? We're modeling. It's not really Model. that stoked. Get me. <laughs> He's just here to go ski. <laughs> I wrangled him into this. Max is taking good photos. And uh, then we're gonna go shred the mountain. Here we are, um, <clears throat> 900 build for uh, a guy that bought my old sled. Carl's has been slamming because I've done like 100 900s or something ridiculous this year. So uh, yeah, it's uh, later than it should be for me to be starting this project, obviously, as it always is. And I uh, gotta go deliver this sled to uh, Utah and then might go try to ride with some boys on Sunday or something, but time to get it popping. All right, guys, so here we are um, today. I'm doing, I'm actually doing some voiceover for a pretty cool project that I'm working on. I can't talk about it, but you'll see. Um, you'll be aware of it eventually. So doing some voiceover. Yeah, I got the whole setup here. I got this new keyboard that my inner nerd is just so psyched about. Is that not the sickest keyboard you've ever seen? This is also my office space that I've been working out of for the past six months almost now. And I think the lens makes it look a lot bigger than it is, but it's really about a 10 by 10 little room. While I'm building my house, my parents don't have good enough internet to like work out of. I mean, I could get the job done, but it's just not, it's just worth it to have this space. So things are strewn everywhere. Um, as you can see, my desk is an absolute mess because last night I was here till almost 11 shooting changes to the new 509 series of the sled update that I'm doing. The link is, I'll, I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check that out. Actually, please go check that out because if you guys go check that out and you're, they're like, dang, this is looking good. I, I mean, it, it is good. I mean, only go watch if you enjoy it, of course, but um, I can keep doing it with 509. So it's a little fun piece that um, I'm doing with those guys that I pitched to them. So... But man, I'm so excited to get into my house um, so I can set my stuff up properly. I mean, I've just, this place is a disaster. <laughs> I mean, like, look at all that stuff. Just nothing has its spot, and it has been this way for like really the last year. So I'm happy to uh, finally have my digs to get efficient and set up properly. So back to work, voiceover time. It's uh, 9.40 p.m., that is, uh, on Friday night. Um, let's see, I got like 14 things I wanna show you guys. Number one, is my truck's clean. That's number one, come this way. This is uh, a snowmobile that I rode last year. This was Scarface. It is uh, going to a new home, and I have to deliver that snowmobile in Utah tomorrow, 12 hours away. And then from there, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring my sled and then I'm gonna go somewhere and possibly ride. But then I gotta be back. That'll make, like I could ride Sunday and then drive back Monday. It's just, it's just madness. But I knew that I was gonna do that. Potentially, earlier this week, I knew it was going to be hectic. And I was just talking to the guys over at Wideout Technologies about, they have this system that uses link brackets to then link my Pelican case 
to my sled, like with just the Lynx s system. So I told, they were like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll send you a kit. I was like, yo, can you expedite it? Cause I might use it this weekend. And they expedited it and so it got here. So thank you. So now I'm modifying my Pelican case here, uh, sanding the legs off essentially to make a little bit flatter mounting surface that then this bracket here can mount on um, that will then house all my camera gear so I can just click it on and off. Also shout out Phil man, 208 Productions, the guy, the legend for turning me onto this system, Wideout Technologies as well. So I'm gonna do a video on this setup um, because it works for all sleds and um, I'm just gonna do a storage video. Snowmobile storage. Some guys don't carry anything but I carry so much stuff and uh, storage is huge, so I have to leave at 5 a.m. and I'll probably have another hour of work down here. Not good, guys. What the hell are we doing today? Well, I'm uh, headed home from a fastest trip of my life. I had the whole plan. This is what I was going to do. I was going to drop the sled off, go ride in like Wyoming or Idaho for a day, and then come home. But since my time management skills sometimes could use improvements, I did not have the chance to do that, so I turned into a deliver the snowmobile, turn around, and come home as fast as possible. Because I got other stuff I'm behind on and need to do. I'm not much of a like New Year's resolution guy, but if I had a resolution, it would be minor time management in a way. Like, I'm pretty good, except if I could get like those 10, those 5, 10, 20 minute chunks throughout the day, remove those of wasted times to then gain two to three hours at the end of the day, that'd be big time for your boy here. So that's uh, that's my goal. I don't know what else I was gonna say here. Got the beats rolling. A music recommendation for you guys. If you're into hip hop, you need to go listen to the first Logic mixtapes. He did like four of them called Young Sinatra, like one, two, and three actually. And uh, if you're a Logic fan, you might know that his one of his more recent albums is called Young Sinatra 4. Well, the precursor to those albums was Young Sinatra 1, 2, and 3, and they're not on Spotify, they're not on Apple Music. There's an app called Datpiff, D-A-T-P-I-F-F, -F, that has mixtapes on it, and they're on that app. The dude is just unbelievably talented. This is when he, like early on, some of my favorite music he's ever made is on those, so listen to that. But also, if you guys are looking for some dope beats for your, uh, for your drives to, to the mountain or whatever it may be. I'll leave the link in the description below to my two playlists. I have two now. Last year, everybody was asking for the, the one yee yee. We got almost 1,500 likes or followers on Spotify on that playlist. I got another one called Blizzard Beats. That's also on Spotify, so like, if you wanna go listen to those, check them out. Um, I think that's it. Episode 34 of Roscoe's vlog, Roscoe Unleashed. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel, it means a lot. Comments also mean the world, and shares do as well. Leave a like, like I said, 700 likes on this video would be stellar. Hope you enjoy. If you want to watch more videos here, make sure you're subscribed right here, and uh, I'll see you guys very soon.